ஹலோ ஆஸ்பிரின்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு நா எக்ஸலன்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த செஷன் ஆன் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் ஃபார் பிகினர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் செஷன் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டெல் யூ அபவுட் தி டேர்ம்ஸ் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஸ்கீம்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸ் தட் அப்பியர்ட் இன் டுடேஸ் நியூஸ் பேப்பர் தட் இஸ் தேர்ட் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட்டீன் Let me give you the answers for yesterday's questions. The first question is with reference to Agni 5 missile which of the following statements are correct? The first statement is it is a surface to surface missile. Yes, this is correct. It is a surface to surface ballistic missile and it can deliver nuclear warhead of 1.10 about 9000 km away. This statement is wrong because this is correct that is nuclear warhead of 1.10 ton it will deliver but within the range of that is greater than 5000 km and if it is small payloads that is minimum payload then it can deliver up to 8000 km that is in between 5000 to 8000 so this statement is wrong and it is a fueled by three staged solid propellant so this statement is also correct so the answer is c 1 and 3 and the second question is what is rim of pacific rim pack sometimes seen in news this is us administered international maritime warfare exercise which occurs once in 2 years and in this exercise the host country us will call all the military forces of the country which are in the pacific rim to ensure safety and security on the world's oceans and in the article supreme court rejects plea to shed kudankulam power plant in this article we have to see the corporation that is nuclear power corporation of india this is government owned corporation of india which is responsible for the generation of nuclear power for electricity and this is administered by department of atomic energy and this is solely responsible for constructing and operating india's commercial nuclear plants and here there is also mention of kudankulam power plant we have to see what is this nuclear power nuclear power plants and where are these located nuclear power is the fifth largest source of electricity in india after coal gas hydroelectric power and wind power and presently we have 22 nuclear reactors in which seven nuclear power plants are in active mode and having a total capacity of 6780 megawatts and let us see what are the nuclear power plants that are located in india these are the plants that is nuclear power plants in india that is narora rajasthan kakrapur tarapur kaiga kalpakam and kudankulam are active nuclear plants that is where nuclear energy or electricity is generating from these plants in the article mexican wave we have to see the word north american free trade agreement before that we have to see what is this free trade agreement these are arrangements between two or more countries or trading blocks that primarily agree to reduce or even eliminate custom tariffs and non tariff barriers on substantial trade between them that is this is an agreement let us say this is an agreement between country a and country b if country a is importing something from com- country b or if country a is exporting there will be some barriers that is some tax is levied on that imports and exports whether this country is exporting or importing whether this country is importing or exporting there will be some taxes to reduce the taxes or to eliminate it entirely these two countries will come under one agreement that is known as free trade agreement this agreement normally covers goods and also services sometimes it can cover intellectual property rights investment government procurements and competition policies but we have to see related words that is preferential trade agreement comprehensive economic cooperation agreement custom union common market and economic union 
we have to see what all these means the first one is preferential trade agreement in this agreement two countries will agree on only some goods that are listed and in this comprehensive economic cooperation agreement and comprehensive economic partnership agreements it will be on comprehensively that is two countries agree between all the things like good services investment intellectual property rights not on each terms like fta on everything only one agreement that is comprehensive economic cooperation agreement they will sign and the third one is customs union in customs union the partner countries will decide trade at zero duty among themselves that is if there are four countries if there is any customs like among these four countries they will decide to trade at zero duty but if any other country suppose any country a want to do trade with these countries they'll do it separately this country will have one ta one tax duty and this will have another tax duty like that and the next thing is common market here here also if you take four countries here the main thing is integration it is also like a customs union but it will facilitates free movements of labor capital and harmonize some technical standards across the members and for example european common market is one of the example that is customs union is the first stage if everything is okay they will, they may move to common market which is the next stage of it next thing is economic union this is a common market extended further harmonization of monetary and physical policies and shared executive judicial legislative institutions that is in customs union they'll have only trade that is common trade at zero duty and with the other the rest of the country they'll have some common tariffs but in common market they will have labor capital free movements and in economic union along with that you'll have executive judicial legislative and monetary policies physical policies everything integrated and european union is one of the example of this economic union and here north american free trade agreement is the agreement that is a trilateral agreement between canada mexico and united states try to remember what are the free trade agreements made by india with other countries and this may useful in your prelims examination next article is china aims to outstrip nasa with super powerful rocket in this article we have to discuss low earth orbit first let me tell you what is this orbit it is a curved trajectory of an object that is for example if there is a trajectory of a planet around a star that is if suppose sun is there and planet will revolve around it in certain path and we call this path as orbit and low earth orbit is an orbit around the earth with an altitude of 2000 kilometers or less than that and with an orbital period of 84 to 127 minutes and this low earth orbit is the simplest and cheapest for satellite placement and these are also known as polar orbits because these revolve around the earth from north pole to south pole that is in north south direction and remote sensing satellites a type of satellites are deployed in this low earth orbits and these are the satellites used for the observation of the earth from the distance that is in from the leo earth orbit and pslv launch vehicle for this satellites that is satellites are placed in a launch vehicles that is pslv launch vehicles are used and these satellites are placed this rss remote sensing satellites are placed in this pslv launch vehicle and these are placed in low earth orbit 
which revolves around the earth and these remote sensing satellites have wide range of applications let us see that these remote sensing satellites are of many types these can be of ocean sat that is for studying of oceanographic phenomenon we use this type of satellites and the second one is these can be act as resource sat that is for monitoring and mapping of natural resources how many resources and where they are located in the earth we can use this satellites and the third one is cartosat this is for cartographic utility that is for physical mapping of the country we can use this cartosats and the fourth one is radar imaging satellite that is for spying or for any surveillance purposes to see anything on the earth for surveying anything we can use this type of satellite and the fifth one is megatropics satellite this satellite is used for cloud mapping in tropical region that is to detect the rainfall and the patterns we use this type of satellites and the sixth one is astro satellites astro sats these are used to monitor astronomical phenomena like movement of celestial bodies or cosmic radiations like uv rays x rays to monitor these phenomena we use this astro sat the next article is linked by light in this article we have to see this laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory ligo before this we have to see what is this gravitational waves einstein predicted these waves many years ago and said when two bodies such as either planets or stars that orbit each other that is if you take a body here and the other body orbits around this then with this movement ripples will be created like a, a ripples in a pond and these ripples are called as gravitational waves and these are invisible and incredibly fast which travel at the speed of light that is 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meters per second and these waves squeeze and stretch anything in their path as they passes by like this if an object passes like this and there is a wave it will attract and the wave bends like this it will squeeze it and the most powerful gravitational waves are created when two objects move at very high speeds and some of the examples for that are when a star explodes asymmetrically or when two big stars orbit each other as i said now and when two black holes orbit each other and merge then these gravitational waves are produced but we don't see these stars and planets nearby these are so far away and sometimes these events only cause small weak gravitational forces and these are so weak by the time they reach earth and this makes gravitational waves so hard to detect but in 2015 scientists detected the gravitational waves for the very first time and they used a very sensitive instrument called ligo that is what we have discussed laser interferometer gravitational waves observatory and by using this instrument they have detected the gravitational waves for the first time and these gravitational waves happen when two black holes crashed into another but this collision happened before 1.3 billion years the ripples of that gravitational waves touched the earth in 2015 and how these gravitational waves are detected when a gravitational wave passes by the earth it squeezes and stretches space as we said here and this instrument was constructed in such a way that it can detect this squeezing and stretching and each ligo observatory has two arms it detects gravitational waves like when gravitational waves arrives at the length of the arms these length of the arms will change slightly and ligo can detect that gravitational waves and in india we have ligo india project which was jointly coordinated and executed by the three premier indian institutions that is inter university for astronomy 
and Astrophysics and the Institute for Plasma Research and the Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology. This project will establish an observatory in India in collaboration with the LIGO laboratory in the US and this project will bring opportunities for our scientists and engineers to dig deeper into the realm of gravitational waves and take global leadership in this new astronomical front. Try to answer today's questions. The first question is, the LIGO India project will be jointly coordinated and executed by which of the premier Indian institutions? The second question is, consider the following countries, Australia, Canada, China, India, Japan and USA. Which of the above are among the free trade partners of ASEAN? Try to answer these questions and thank you.